Village volunteers in Qingdao, China inspect flowers they prepare to send winter warmth. A dump truck driver in Nanto survives acute leukemia due to a caring stem cell donor. I'm Sean Scanlon. This is Die Headlines. In China, volunteers are busy preparing to send warmth in the winter. For example, in Qingdao, Zhiji volunteers visit a factory to inspect supplies before making a purchase. In particular, they looked over flour, ensuring the quality of flour, which they would later give to locals. Here's more. As winter is round the corner, in China, sending warmth in the winter program is also about to begin in various provinces. The volunteers have been preparing the eight items as they head into the final stage before the program begins. This year for the Dongbei and Hubei residents, we will be giving them flour. We purchased the items in Shandong. Last week we headed to the factory to check it out. It was a very good flour factory as it is very clean. To make sure of the quality of the supplies, volunteers not only inspected the factory, but they also tested the flour they brought to make various kinds of pastry. When I was kneading the dough, it felt really good. The quality is really good. The steamed bun made from it also has a great texture. I feel that the quality of this flour is really good. Every step during the preparation phase is done diligently by the volunteers. They even invited a pastry chef to provide professional opinions. The texture of this flour is really tasty. It also has a sweet fragrance. I have been a pastry chef for over 10 years and I have done much research on flour. When I touch the flour, it's not very fine. This type of flour has great nutritional values and is good for our health. I tested the steamed buns right after they were done. The outer layer has a great texture and the flour does not contain any bleach and additives. We can feel at ease as it is definitely safe for the residents to eat. With Sichi volunteers' mindful inspections, the supplies received by the locals this coming winter will be of the best quality. To celebrate the Nine Emperor Gods Festival, Zhiji volunteers in Thailand provided vegetarian food at the Jingsa Hall and Hospital, attracting more than 3,000 people. Everyone came and enjoyed a vegetarian meal and also learned how to live an eco-friendly lifestyle. The food is prepared by volunteers, with community residents also helping out. Take a look. At Thailand Jingsa Hall's Gay, the volunteers hung a catchy banner to invite everyone to adopt a vegetarian diet for the Nine Emperor Gods Festival. Over the course of four days, there are ten stalls providing vegetarian food, including Thai cuisine, Chinese food and desserts. The food is cooked by city volunteers. In Ratchaburi, which is 80 kilometers from Bangkok, volunteers got up at 4 a.m. to cook the food. When they reach Jingsi Ha, the food is still hot. We are willing to come, so we do not think it is hard work. Volunteers mindfully give of themselves, so they don't feel tired. Some residents also provide food to promote vegetarianism. During the Ninth Emperor God's Festival, I will cook vegetarian food. In the past, I ate them myself. This year, I am sharing them with everyone. Not only do I get to do a good deed, this is also beneficial for people's health. Besides delicious food, there's also a special fashion show. People wore recycled items and brought a lively atmosphere. People are enjoying the food even more joyfully. Today, I ate Thai rice vermicelli, vegetarian fishbowl soup, and dessert. I think everyone can do good deeds, but it is better to adopt a vegetarian diet. The Night Emperor God's Festival is only for a few days a year. Everyone should support it. The earth has been polluted severely. The environment has become worse. If we switch to a vegetarian diet, it will help the environment. City volunteers are providing vegetarian food at a Jinsu Hall and a hospital. Over the course of seven days, the event attracted more than 3,000 people. Indonesia is known for being a friendly place, and something not to be missed is Indonesian coffee. In Jakarta, there's a coffee shop owned by a blind barista. 
who uses his heart to make the perfect cup of coffee. Here's more. Aminhimi Amustawa is a blind barista. He's known other vision impaired friends to chase after their own dreams and was inspired to do the same. He loves coffee and dreamt of being a professional barista, and thus he set out to train himself in it so that operating the machine or deciphering between the beans are of no problems for him. Hilmi is 22 this year and he's now co owners of a coffee shop with his two friends. Their shop name is Matahachi Coffee, and he uses his sharp listening skills and sense of smell to make the perfect cup of joe. He has tools to help him, such as braille stickers on the machine and timers. His customers love to order his specialty, which is the brown sugar iced coffee and espresso. Sebelum pandemi aja bisa sampai 100 lebih loh. Kuma, kalau untuk setelah pandemi before the pandemic, we used to sell about 100 cups a day, but during the height of the virus, our business went down. It slowly returned to normal. Due to the impact of COVID-19, the coffee shop's business went down, but his heart of gratitude remains and he continues with an upbeat attitude operating his business. He also saves a portion of his earnings to help the less fortunate. Every Friday, his mother will accompany him to help the vision impaired like him or orphans on the street. This is something we are doing to repay society. We want to share coffee with others and in turn hopefully also inspire them to do charity work too. By encouraging one another, Allah will bless us. Helmi hopes to expand the Matahati coffee shop and provide more working opportunities for young people. Ziji was worried about the safety of his home. They later helped install handrails and anti-skid strips in his bathroom, other areas so that he no longer needs to worry about his personal safety. Let's take a look. <laughs> The stairs were equipped with anti-slip strips so that the care recipient does not have to be afraid of every step of the stairs, and there are more. Thank you, Master, for giving us the opportunity to learn more about the needs of the care recipient through the Beautiful Home Plan in rural community, in addition to the home visit. Tsuji volunteers were worried about the safety of the home life of 68-year-old Mr. Chen, who was blind, and took the initiative to help install various safety facilities. Mr. Chen feels at ease with meticulous care. I heard the radio report that the sink would explode. I'm really scared. Safety facilities are what I want. I like it. I need it very much. You not only take care of their environment, but also chat with them and care about their needs. I think the process is great. The volunteers will also visit Mr. Chen regularly in the future to give him physical and mental care. To make homes safe for solitary seniors and those who suffer from physical or mental problems, Digi is doing minor home repairs all over the island. For example, Digi volunteers in the Wanhua district of Taipei help two solitary seniors living around the Nanjichang night market make improvements to their home, making it more comfortable and safer. Here's more. Sounds of construction goes on as Tsuji partners with the Taipei City government to enact a project to help this solitary senior living near the Nanjichang night market redo his bathroom. Living spaces in Taipei are often very small. The bathroom is small as well. The bathtub takes up a lot of space and it's not used often, so by removing it, the bathroom feels bigger. The volunteers hired a professional to help Mr. Lin redo his bathroom while installing flooring that is waterproof and slipproof, as safety is their number one concern for the senior. Hey, hey, hey. 
When the professionals work away, Cixi volunteers don't forget to spend some time with Mr. Lin to get to know him better. They're very friendly and loving, and I'm grateful for their help with this service. At the next house, 90-year-old Grandpa Chen has not repaired his bedroom and bathroom for many years. The volunteers also spent many working days making the necessary repairs. We have cleaned up his home and painted his walls. It looks very new. When he saw it, he was very happy. I feel grateful for Zhiji for taking care of us old people. They even fixed up what was broken in my home. Also cleaned up my house. I feel so much better living here now. Thank you. Thanks to this project to beautify the community and make sure seniors are safe at home, Zhiji volunteers are more interactive with the community and the connection is stronger than ever. In our series of reports about stem cell donations, we take a look at the story of an individual who is a dump truck driver. Zhang Qingyuan, who lives in Nanto, was diagnosed with acute leukemia in 2014. Fortunately, he quickly found a matching stem cell donor and was later given medical care, which ensured that he was given a second chance at life. He was busy making money before he fell ill. How could it exercise? Zhang Qingyuan, who had been driving a dump truck for more than 30 years, led a busy life. After having a narrow escape from death, he has discovered there is more to life. This is my second son's child. This is my third son's child. To be honest, I'm very satisfied with my life. At age of 59, John was diagnosed of actual leukemia. When I was in the isolation ward, my oldest son was getting married. I watched the beginning till the end of the ceremony with video conferencing in the ward. What? It was the most important moment. Zhang still has his regrets in life. However, there was a nice surprise in life for him. It is difficult to find a matching donor. I don't know how I was so lucky. The hospital quickly notified me that there was a match and I was getting ready for the treatment. In just three months, Zhang went from being diagnosed to receiving stem cell transplant. He did not throw up or have other side effects. After the injection, I brought a lunchbox for him and he finished eating it, so he recovered very fast. As he did follow-up treatment, his hair became black and thinner. Currently, I'm like a 50-year-old man who is healthy. I'm like a lively dragon. Zhang, who did not exercise before, fell in love with morning swimming. Maybe he was influenced by a stem cell donor. I was on the track team and I enjoyed hiking and rafting. 42-year-old Zhou Zhanyo registered as a potential stem cell donor when he was in college. He kept it a secret from his mother. He believes that medical practice has certain standards and it will be safe. Mr. Zhou is successful in business and he also lectures in college. He has a special collection. Beating the bad guys, killing the monsters and winning everybody's praise. Superhero. The lyrics are like this, right? Superhero, superhero. He emphasizes that we will move forward and be strong like him. Zhou is very firm as he resolves to help people and delivers his best wishes. Cherish your health and love your family. 
do something meaningful for humankind. Go for it. I appreciate him for helping me. On the life path, I hope his life will be better. In Indonesia, a Zigi care recipient was diagnosed with glaucoma three years ago. He lost his vision after a failed surgery and also has to take medications to control his eye pressure. As his family relies on his mother, who works as a maid, they cannot afford his medical expenses. Fortunately, Zigi volunteers reached out, providing medical and living subsidies. He needs his father to read him a message from school. 15-year-old Sarun Judy was diagnosed with glaucoma three years ago. The doctor said that if I didn't go through a surgery, I might lose my vision, so I decided to undergo the surgery. However, I could not see after undergoing the surgery. After he became blind, his eye pressure is still high and needs to take medication. However, his father cannot work and his mother works as maid, so his treatment is not continuous. Because I do not have enough money, sometimes I buy a few medicines. Then, after two weeks, I buy some more. Through a friend's referral, this family receives help from Tsuji, who provides medical and living subsidies. Hoping to be lifted out of poverty, Surin Judy studied diligently. I am grateful that from his last progress report, he has passed all subjects. He has scored 100 on some subjects. I am proud of him. Due to the pandemic, Sun Judy shares a mobile phone with his sister to attend online courses. After class, he helps do household chores. As this family works together, they can get through life's challenges. In Guangdong, China, Zigi volunteers are conducting home visits ahead of sending love in winter. In Nansha, they visit a solitary man who is partially paralyzed. Due to his paralysis, he leads a harsh life, sitting on the floor. Zigi volunteers have opened up his heart by being with him. Sitting on the ground with the leftover food, 54-year-old solitary man Li Dawen has become partially paralyzed since the surgery for his brain tumor 12 years ago. In the past, he could walk, but now he's unwilling to do anything. I asked him to take a bath and get changed for an hour, but he refused to move. There's nothing I can do. Since his family does not live with Lee, they cannot accompany him and can only see him passively live his life. Li Dawen has not taken a bath for three to five months. He gives off foul smells that I cannot describe with words. He lives in a sort of hell with feces. The weight on his body is very smelly. So the volunteers visit Li regularly and gradually they open up his heart. When we came last time, he refused to interact with us. This time, he's willing to let us take a bath for him. Volunteers trimmed his hair and nails and showered him, giving him a refreshing look. Today, we wash away what makes him unhappy. After all, we are farmers and we are quite busy, not having enough time to care for him. It is better to have your help. Thank you very much. City volunteers have opened up Lee's heart and they will accompany him as he embraces a better future. City volunteer Zhong Chongyuan was in and out of prison six times. His family even gave up on him. But one day he attended a Zhiji Sutra study group and it changed his life. After he was let out of prison, he became a certified Zhiji volunteer. In 2019, he started a new business where he sells and delivers fruit and veggies to customers. When I think about change, I tell myself that I need to look within myself and use my own ability to change. In the past, when I wanted to make money, I always used illegal ways to make money. But when I entered Tsuji, I realized what it means to make honest money. Making honest money takes hard work. But making honest money means I've also earned trust. I earned the trust of my daughter, my son, and most importantly, 
the trust of my own parents back. That's my biggest reward. In studying upon the text of the Sutra of Profound Gratitude towards parents, I truly understood that charitable deeds and performing acts of filial piety cannot wait. So thanks to the Master's teachings, I'm living my best life. In our messaging group, there are over one-third of the people who are not in Siji and are not vegetarian. So we hope by sharing the vegetables with them, they can realize it's easy to be a vegetarian and eat healthy. The thing we're most moved about is that you are helping the local farmers, as we often sell our products to a middleman and their prices are not that high. Siji is currently promoting a new study group where the main goal is to unite everyone's spirit, much like how we gather and be united in friendship. So today's participants are former inmates that I've become friends with after September 28, 2013, when I left the prison for the last time. <laughs> Ahao is a former inmate that I've accompanied the longest because it's just not his time yet. Just like the master said, it's not only when you're doing bad things that karma retribution will happen. Students from the Taipei Great Love Children's Daycare Center wore handmade costumes and distributed handmade biscuits to staff and patients at Taipei Jinjie Hospital. We leave you with these images. Goodbye.